With a filmography as substantial as this megastar's, there is no shortage of memorable dialogue. Red light! Green light! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Tom Cruise movie lines. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the wide variety of movies Tom Cruise has made throughout his career and picking individual lines of dialogue from them that, be it through emotion, humor, or pure coolness, made a lasting impression on viewers worldwide. Number 10. Every passing minute is another chance to turn it all around. Vanilla Sky. The English language adaptation of the 1997 Spanish film Open Your Eyes sees Penelope Cruz reprising her role as Sofia, opposite Cruz as protagonist David Ames. Mixing sci-fi, psychological thriller, romance, and more, the movie was considered confusing to some. However, the meaning of this line, which appears near the end while Ames envisions his former love after he attempts to take control of a lucid dream gone wrong, certainly is not. I'm frozen and you're dead. And I love you. While saying their farewells, Ames reminds her of some words of wisdom she once gave him, and they ultimately inspire him to take the leap of faith that allows him to really open his eyes. Do you remember what you told me once? Number 9. I want the truth! A Few Good Men. You've got one movie legend acting opposite another, and it is impossible to avert your eyes as this tense and dramatic courtroom scene unfolds. Seriously, you can cut the tension with a knife. Cruz's character, Lieutenant Daniel Caffey, is trying to uncover the conspiracy behind a murder of a Marine, and as it draws out, he begins to lose his patience and will to succeed. After a lengthy trial, it all culminates in one unforgettable moment, in which the lieutenant demands the truth, and Nicholson's character shouts, well, a line that is equally, if not even more memorable. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Number 8. Disappointed. Why should I be disappointed? Rain Man. We've all had arguments with our parents at one point, but in Charles' case, it was a complete falling out. His mother died when he was young, and so his father was all he had, and unfortunately, they just didn't gel. After an extreme punishment pushes him to leave, Charles only returns home upon hearing that his father has passed, and soon discovers that he's been left nothing but the car and the rose bushes. I can see that you're disappointed. Disappointed? Why should I be disappointed? I got rose bushes, didn't I? I got a used car, didn't I? What's his name got? What'd you call him? The uh... beneficiary. Right, right. Beneficiary. He got $3 million. Tom's delivery of these incredulous, sarcastic lines are a testament to his acting abilities. He walks a fine line between drama and comedy, and armed with great dialogue, makes a lasting impression. I mean, those are rose bushes. There's no need to... To what? To be upset? Number 7. Life in every present. The Last Samurai. After Captain Nathan Algren is captured during a battle, he starts to earn the respect of the samurai, and in turn, seeks to understand them better. He soon learns that there are many virtues to Bushido, the moral code of the samurai. This line is memorable in particular due to the fact that it's said at the end of arguably one of the best scenes in the film, when Katsumoto reveals that he understands Nathan's troubles more than Nathan could have ever anticipated. Katsumoto guides him to a revelation, where Nathan sums up Bushido as simply and effectively as possible. To know life in every breath, every cup of tea, every life we take. Number 6. Is what you take. Magnolia. Here we have Tom Cruise as the over-the-top and charismatic Frank T.J. Mackey, giving arguably one of his best performances. He plays a motivational speaker and pickup artist with some seriously deep-rooted family issues. You probably shouldn't put much faith in anything Frank says. In fact, you should distance yourself from his philosophies as much as humanly possible. Learn how to make that lady friend your sex star servant. But with that being said, these four little words might ring true for anyone who feels cheated by life. Just take them as motivation to be proactive in life, not become a psychotic, predatory creep. Whether Frank's words ring true or not, there's no arguing with Cruz's spot-on delivery. It's not what you hope for, it's not what you deserve, it's what you take. Number 5. Porsche. There is no substitute. Risky Business. You know that feeling when you have a trigonometry midterm tomorrow and you're being chased by Guido the Killer Pimp? Well, it doesn't matter. What does matter is watching the sweet Porsche 928 in all its glory as a fresh-faced Tom Cruise skillfully evades his pursuer. Big man! Hi, Guido! Big man with a gun! 
The car's design and sound of its engine are definitely enough to put a smile on any car enthusiast's face. And after they've made their successful getaway, Joel sums up the experience with this one perfect little line that has gone down in cinematic history. Porsche, there is no substitute. Number four. You complete me. Jerry Maguire, action star, check. Dramatic actor, check. Romantic? Sure, let's check that one off too. After the hell he'd been through with his ex and the hardships with his job at the agency, Jerry was happy to have Dorothy to lean on, professionally, personally, and eventually romantically. Unfortunately, as often seems to happen in Jerry's life, their relationship deteriorates. In a bid to win the girl of his dreams back, Jerry throws this heartstopper of a line at her. And not only is Dorothy enamored by the charm and sincerity of it, everyone watching is too. You had me at hello. Number three. And literally f your own face! Tropic Thunder. Remember that checklist in the previous entry? Let's add comedic actor to it too. Cruz's Les Grossman character, and this scene in particular, proves just how versatile the actor can be when given free reign to have fun. He usually plays the calm and collected heroic type, so it's refreshing to see him as a bald, overweight, and greedy studio executive. One thing's for sure, he has a temper and isn't afraid to get a little rowdy when someone's on his bad side. As proven with this scene, he definitely knows the right words to inspire fear. I am talking scorched earth, motherfucker. I will massacre you. I will f you up. Number two. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! Top Gun. Top Gun, along with Risky Business, really cemented the star status of Tom Cruise, and it was largely uphill from there. Cocky and dangerous pilot Maverick is hell-bent on winning the Top Gun trophy and is willing to do whatever it takes to get it. Stand by. Viper's coming down. Breaking rules, upstaging the other pilots, and generally trying to be best at whatever he does, it's clear that he feels the need for speed, complete with a high five and all. Here's hoping that the 2019 sequel can deliver its fair share of iconic and quotable lines. Number one. Show me the money! Jerry Maguire. This film portrays struggle, conflict, and desire magnificently. After having an epiphany about his life and the dishonesty in his job, sports agent Jerry Maguire publishes a memo expressing his thoughts, gets fired, and subsequently scrambles to take clients with him. In one highly entertaining and lengthy phone call to wide receiver Rod Tidwell, his dedication, resolve, and endurance are pushed to the limit in a desperate bid to keep Tidwell signed. Show me the money! Viewers laughed and cheered all the way through, and it was the start of a very special relationship between the two. But it was this line that made the scene a truly iconic one. What you gonna do, Jerry? Show me the money! Congratulations, you're still my agent. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.